Hi, the creator of Hard Basis here. If you've been following me, you will have seen several videos on the big, beautiful bill and the EPA relaxing and or eliminating or pulling back on clean air regulations, specifically the legalization of emissions removals from u truck before I get into the facts and stress fact. Check this out again. Hi, channel creator of Hard Basis to give you the setup here. All the diesel community is running around pissing their pants that the EPA will be relaxing or eliminating the delete of and tuning of emission removal regulations. I want to inform you this is not the case, nor will this ever happen. This EPA relaxation will be sending this to the states for them to make these decisions. And if you're in a democratic state, expect this regulation to get very harsh, like impounding and destroying your truck, jail time, and steep fines for shops. This article will show and explain what's to come. Is deleting diesel emissions legal in 2025? A practical breakdown of DPF, EGR, and tuning from a diesel performance expert Wendy Drake said, quote, With the growing demand for reliability, performance, and affordability, diesel truck owners across North America are once again asking a familiar question in 2025. Is it legal to delete my diesel truck's emission systems, DPF, EGR, DEF, in today's regulatory climate? The short answer, no. It is still federally illegal in the United States to tamper with or remove emissions-related components, regardless of your state or county. Hi, I am the creator of Hard Basis, not AI Slop. Please enjoy it. Subscribe, like, share, follow, comment fast to the point news and information daily here on Hard Basis. I've seen the confusion firsthand, but legality aside, many owners are dealing with aging emissions equipment, mounting repair costs, and trucks stuck in limp mode. So how can we respond to this reality while staying compliant and still building a truck that performs? This article breaks down what diesel truck owners need to know in 2025, including federal and state emissions laws, common DPF EGR issues, performance tuning within legal boundaries, real world reliability concerns, the risk of illegal deletes, future hope for right to repair. Let's get into it. Why are diesel trucks more heavily regulated? Diesel engines emit three major pollutants that affect both public health and air quality. Carbon monoxide, CO, diesel particulate matter, PM, nitrogen oxides, NOx. To combat this, modern diesel trucks are equipped with DPF, diesel particulate filter, traps and burn soot, EGR, exhaust gas recirculation, reduces combustion temps to lower NOx, SCR, selective catalytic reduction, uses DF to convert NOx into nitrogen and water, DOC, diesel oxidation catalyst, reduces harmful gases in the exhaust stream. These systems help the environment, but they often create reliability and performance limitations, especially as vehicles age, state versus federal laws, who has authority? Some owners believe, my county doesn't require emissions testing so I can delete. But here's the truth. Federal law, Clean Air Act Section 203, supersedes all state regulations. Even if your state skips emissions inspections, selling, installing, or using emissions delete parts is still illegal at the federal level. The EPA and Department of Justice continue to fine, and in some cases imprison, shops and suppliers involved in illegal deletes. CARB, California Air Resources Board, has become a de facto national standard, even for states that don't officially follow CARB rules. What about those EPA relaxation headlines? In 2025, social media exploded with claims that 31 EPA actions made deletes legal. Here's the reality. These were not law changes. They were internal reviews or regulatory considerations. The Clean Air Act remains fully intact. These were not law changes. They were internal reviews or regulatory considerations. The Clean Air Act remains fully intact. No federal policy has made deleting emissions systems legal. No federal policy has made deleting emissions systems legal. Wendy Drake said, quote, Don't be misled by viral videos or TikToks. Nothing has changed in writing that allows deletes. Why do owners still consider deleting? It's not just about rolling coal. Most diesel truck owners who inquire about deletes are dealing with DPF regions failing or triggering too often. Expensive EGR or NOx sensor repairs. Limp mode activating in remote areas. Vehicles becoming unreliable after 150k, 200k miles. High repair costs versus low resale value. Modern emission systems tend to perform reliably in the first few years, but long-term maintenance becomes a financial burden. For many, deletes seem like the only way to keep a working truck on the road, especially in rural or work-use scenarios. Is there a legal way to boost diesel performance? Yes, deleting isn't the only path to more power or better efficiency. Here's what we recommend for street legal performance. High flow air intake systems, improve airflow velocity, reduce intake resistance, and enhance turbo response. 
49 state legal performance, turbos designed for a faster spool, stronger mid-range torque and emissions compatibility. Emissions on tuning, custom tuning that keeps DPF, EGR and DEF systems intact while improving drivability, throttle response and even mild horsepower gains. Proactive maintenance regular EGR DPF cleanings and using upgraded components can extend system life and reduce faults. The danger of bad tuning and how to avoid it. Not all tunes are created equal. Many files circulating the market today are stolen or copied from other vehicles, overfueled, creating smoke and poor MPG, unresponsive to turbo upgrades, ignoring EGR sensor compatibility, causing engine damage or limp mode. If you're going to tune your truck, even emissions on, make sure you're working with a qualified and experienced diesel tuner, not just buying a generic file. Is diesel going away? Not anytime soon. Electric trucks may be the media darling, but diesel still dominates. Towing and payload capacity, agricultural and industrial use, longevity in remote areas, cost of ownership over time. While EVs may be the future in urban settings, the U.S. power grid is not ready for full electrification. Diesel still has at least another 30-50 years to go. Right now, on this great American hard basis news and information channel, there is a creator working hard to get your view even a simple click for a like loosing hope begging for your comment so I know I have touched your life in any way. Here on Hard Basis, we search for the best news and information items you may never see anywhere else. To help you, the viewer, get a laugh or keep informed, even make you think. But I can't reach more folks just like you without your support, so please consider joining for a limited time. Your subscription is free and free for life. You will sleep well every night knowing you reached out and clicked. You will barely be able to sleep waiting for our next video. So won't you today help and subscribe, like, and share. Help me help you. It won't disappoint and thank you in advance.